up guys another quick video um, last minute my brakes on the front are toast so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do it's easier than you think it's a little bit dark outside but I still think I can kind of show you because it's not that hard you can do it all right so the first thing you want to do is pop off this guy right here just kind of get in there with a flathead screwdriver or yeah flathead screwdriver don't be afraid to be rough with it just like that so the next thing you're gonna need is a T55 Torx um, socket. And you're gonna put this on and four bolts total. There's one on the top, one right here, one down a little bit more, and one at the very bottom. So you're gonna wanna undo all four of those. So we're gonna do that next. Um, if it gets rough and it's hard, all I did was grab a little mallet and I would just hold it with your hands so you're not gonna strip it. Hold it tight in there and just give it a little thump and you'll break it loose. Fun fact, the ones in the middle, the two in the middle right here, in the middle of the caliper, those are the longer ones. The ones on the top and the bottom are shorter, so you can always know which is which. Okay. Once you get all four of those bolts off, you can now pull cover, kind of, caliper. That holds the inside brake pad. That one's almost done. The one, the one on the inside is going to be even worse. From here you can pull off the piston. And as you can see, it was down to the metal and wow now you still have the base of the caliper um, on there and it's two bolts on the back which are 17 millimeter and you, this is sometimes really hard just hit it with some PB blaster or WD-40 um, and if that if you still can't break it loose with your hand jack the car up really high and fit like a breaker bar in here um, show you okay so you're really gonna depend on a hammer on the passenger side because when we're loosening it we're going this way with the um, wrench so really gonna hopefully you can use your man strength and get it down um, on luckily on the driver's side since you're going we're going up with it we're able to jack the car up really high and sneak a breaker bar in right here and then lift it up a little bit and that was what broke this hard one, but I don't know. Let's see if this one's really bad. Nope. So we got the base off. Now, it was in here like this, and those are where the two bolts are. And that is what you want to unscrew. Take that off. And then back to the cover of it, these are the four bolts as you can see. So it's in there like this, and we flip it around. It's just really simple. All right, so now the rotor doesn't want to come off, so we're gonna try and beat it a little bit. All right, we got lucky. Uh, then, so if you've never done this before or haven't watched my previous video, I explain when you have your rotor, when it's completely shot, is like you feel it, it's, it might feel smooth right here, but when you get to the edge right here, if it has a lip at all, that's bad. That means they're worn down. So it should be a new one is completely flat, but on the edge, this one's toast. It's got a big old lip right here because it's worn down. And then on the back side, I mean, it's all scarred up from metal to metal, but... Let's put the new ones on. Okay, so you have your new rotor and you need to clean it. There's a little bit of a film, some stuff on it. You need to clean it with brake cleaner before. So I don't know if this is the proper way to do it, but it's the way I'm gonna do it. Just throw it on the floor. Brake cleaner. And then I'm gonna step back. 
And you'll see right away it'll eat up anything on there. I'm just going to take a towel, kind of rub it in. Flip it over. All right, now we're ready to put on the cart. All right, now that we have that on there, I'm gonna have Ben help me with the light putting this back on. Wait a minute, there we go. So, I'll, this is pretty self-explanatory, so we'll meet up after we get this back on. What's up guys, we're sneaking around back. The two bolts are here. Just go ahead and get them hand tied in here. And that'll get your base back on and we can move forward. Snug them both up. All right, the base is back on. Now we can move to the calipers. Okay, so you have your two new brake pads. If you didn't pay attention before, you have two different ones. One has a flat plate on it. One has like a little like you know, curve or L shape to it like this. The L shaped one goes on the back. So you're just gonna go ahead and take it, slide it in the back, and it's gonna sit on those two arms. Yep, you're gonna need your C clamp, and that's what's gonna be used to comp compress your hydraulic piston right here. So I'm gonna set it up. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna pinch the outside of the piston only. Yes, it's gonna slowly push it in there. And remember, these are the these are the front brakes only. The back brakes have a special tool to compress the piston. So you're gonna need to watch my other video on the rear brakes to learn how to do that. But the front is much easier for this sake. All right, that's all the way compressed in. It's flush right here. Perfect, so now what you're gonna do is take it back and slide it on to the, the two pegs. It's really smooth. And that's gonna, you're gonna wanna, just like I did, snap that spring into the piston. Same with this right here. You're gonna wanna take it and let's flip it over. It's gonna go on like this. And you want the flat piece, you need it to go in there like this, so the flat piece is on the outside. So let's flip it over. Take it. Let's, let's be smart here. Cool. Now that's snapped in there and in place. Slide this over. And bam. Now we just have our full four bolts left. Remember the long ones are in the middle. Just finger tight those. If it doesn't catch, just take both sides of the caliper and push it together. And get them all hand tight first. All of them, because if you start tightening one, it's going to bind it and you won't be able to get the other ones on. So you put the four bolts in the back, snug them all up, and then I'll show you guys how I get this spring back on. Alright, you have your spring. This is the final piece. You're going to see this on the front right here. It has a little tooth. That goes right under that guy right there. So to start, you're going to want to stick this in the front right there. And it's going to give you a little tension. That's when this side gets tough. But you need to hold it tight. And sometimes you got to get like a screwdriver or something. Actually, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the wrench. That's your problem. So let's just keep trying.
All right, I'm not gonna do this by myself. I'm gonna have my buddy help me, and just, you need to have, oh, you think you can do it, Ben? Oh, hey. Okay, I'm gonna push it in. Come on. Okay. Got that in there. Smack it. Cool. All right, we'll put the wheel back on and we'll let you know if it worked. Once you start your car up, you're gonna pump your brakes and it's gonna be really soft, harder, 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 and then really stiff. That's what you want. You want those pistons to push in and like clamp the calipers. So I'm gonna back up a little bit to test it. Alright, all seems to be good. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.